So, I set up my sister's stuffed animals in the clothing basket as if it was a pool party. And over here is a GoPro. So we're going to try to capture her reaction. Alright, so we got a surprise for you. Come to your room. That's never good. Shush. Why? It's a pool party. I eat my <laughs> Wait, you just took him from the pool party. Put him back. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome to another video. It's about 9.45 right now and we're about to get some games. Alright guys, that's the end of the workout. I did another round, which was off camera, but I didn't want to bore you guys too much with that. Now we're going to try a cool transition into the next frame. Boom! Ready. Showered, shaved, and now on to the next part. So, as a kid, I've always been so fascinated about what's in certain electronic stuff, such as these microchips. These microchips used to be in different things. This was in a calculator slash ruler combination, and this one used to be in a remote control car. Now, both of those things were broken, which is why I busted them open and tried to see what the microchip was inside and was like. So, I have these two things, a calculator that goes in like a binder and a flashlight keychain, which are both broken, so I'm going to bust them open now and see what's inside. Alright guys, so there's only two ways to do this. The easy way, or the fun way. And to open this calculator, I choose the fun way. So the fun way could get a little messy, but... It's okay. There's like a loose screw here, so you grab each part and then you just bust it open. Ready? Here we go. Okay. Awesome. So we got the microchip and stuff here. Made a little bit of a mess, but it's okay. Not too bad. Here's the microchip. See, it's just like the other one, except a lot bigger. So, the patterns are kind of similar. You see all these little lines, they lead up into the black circle here, and then they lead up into the black circle there as well. It has a bunch of little circles, which I'm guessing is part of the reason why you push into these buttons. So, it kind of calculates and stuff, which they all lead up to the control center, which is this black dot, I'm guessing. This is what the other side looks like. Just a bunch of squares with some dots and... A few lines, but way less than the other. And then this part, what is it? Oh, that was the battery. So the battery just popped out of that. So yeah, I've always been fascinated with breaking stuff open like this. Like the old broken electronics and see what's inside. This cool microchip. And yeah, it kind of led me down a path of deciding between architecture and engineering. But overall, I like designing houses and buildings rather than like little gadgets like this over time so I did choose architecture and I love the process and yeah it's fun to do. Okay now for the easy cleanup move the stuff you want to keep and then sweep all the rest into the garbage can. Good. Now for the second one the keychain flashlight I think we're gonna have to use the easier way because there are no loose screws and it's gonna be a lot harder to bust open like that so let's see how we do this. Okay, so here's a keychain, here's a screwdriver, let's bust this thing open and see what's inside. Easy way to remember how to tighten and loosen things, you say righty tighty, lefty loosey. Also, when doing this at home, please do not lose the screws. You do not want these digging into your feet or anything like that on the floor. Okay, all six screws are out. Now we have this part here, and now we have to just open it up and see what's inside. So, there's no microchip or anything like I thought there would be. Some battery here, which leads up to this little light bulb, and that goes in there. The light bulb has these little wire strands to connect the battery to the whole system and stuff like that, but 
Yeah. Hmm. Maybe if we bust open this piece too, maybe there's something else in there. Nope, nothing. This is just a plate with the company name on it. All right, guys, so what did we learn from today? So the first thing we learned is sometimes you find some great finds, sometimes not so much. And that's with anything. That's with breaking stuff open. That's with traveling. That's with your new job, whatever you want to do. You have the cool, exciting things, and then you have the cool, but not so exciting things. So, I mean... The only way to know is to try, and the only way to find out what's inside a flashlight thing like this is to bust it open and find out. Again, easy cleanups. Keep what you want and sweep everything else into the garbage can. But I would not suggest you sweep these screws into a garbage can like mine with a bunch of holes. Obviously, put it in a bag or something like that. Wrap it in a napkin and put it in an actual garbage can. Or, if you want, keep them for later projects, whatever. That's what I'm going to do. I have this little bin where I'm going to put stuff in and... Yeah, that's it. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.